they know now it's, it, it, the clock is ticking. It's really ticking. It, it's, it's been ticking the whole time. I mean, the clock never stopped ticking, but now it's fight camp. The finale itself is going to be in the Glen Rovers Hurling and Football Club in Cork City. Um, this is a venue that we use for uh, season two also. Great venue, um, uh, f uh, 600 capacity. So it's, it's a great night uh, for, for the guys that, that have completed their challenge. It's like, it's like a party night for them. It's like a celebration of the end of their, uh, their transformation. But uh, we know who's fighting who and uh, some of the matchups are going to be really exciting. So far we've just announced a handful of fights. Um, um, first up today we had uh, Cash Jam and uh, Kevin Cody. Um, these two are, are kind of the two of the more popular uh, characters in, in, in the season. They've been kind of bouncing off each other all, all season long and it was uh, one of these matchups that everybody kind of expected to happen and uh, I think now that it's been announced I think that everybody's looking forward to, to seeing what's going to happen there particular to trash talking over the next few weeks because they're, as I said, they're both characters. My name is Cash. Kevin Cody, 30 years of age from Glanmire County Cork. Originally from Pakistan. I'll be fighting um, Cash Jam. I'll see the better person will win and I'm going to win. I will obviously play mind games with him. That's what I'm all about. I have that personality, I have that colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there, I'm going to shake him up a bit, come out, we'll hug it out and that's the end of it then. So my strategy would be to go and take my time and be patient. And everything that he comes at me with, I'm going to have an answer for. If I realise that I'm in a position, physically or mentally, where he's on top, you won't see it. It won't be too long before you see me on top. And trying to go for uh, the armbar, that's, that's what I love it. So Kevin, uh, watch this space. This is what it's all about. As he said, half of it is mental, the rest of it then is the physical game. And I reckon that I might have one up on him. Again, my game plan is go in there, have a few shots, take him to the ground and show him my jiu-jitsu, because that's where the talent lies. We have uh, Dan, Dan O'Donovan and uh, Stephen Sheehan. Um, two guys again, very, very similar uh, body types. And we turn and face the cameras. Or not. <laughs> Dan actually did season two um, and is back in uh, doing season three. Both these guys are very, very technical. Um, Stephen comes from a kind of a, a competitive football background. Um, so he's got that sporting uh, pedigree, he's got that kind of competitive edge to him. Uh, Dan's extremely technical, um, his boxing has come on leaps and bounds since he started and um, he's, uh, he's been really good with, uh, you know, his application to training has been really, really good and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. That was going to be a really technical fight. This is uh, my second time doing Winter Warrior, did season two in Quark, loved it, came back for season three. Uh, so my name is Stephen uh, Sheen, I'm from Fairhill Drive, so I literally live three minutes away from the gym, so I have no excuses not to be here for early morning training. Looking forward to the fight, he's a tough guy, um, strong guy, very difficult to bring to the ground, uh, very good wrestling, very good takedown defense, very good at taking down. Everyone knows me in the class as the kind of guy that's good at Jiu Jitsu. So I think it's going to be a case of he's going to come in blazing with a few punches, possibly a few kicks. So I know his game plan is going to try be to take me down, but it's not going to be easy for him. I'm also going to manage the distance, he's going to keep boxing and kicking. We'll probably have to stand up for a few moments because I think he's going to expect me to go for a takedown straight away. My ideal finish would be um, to finish him on the ground, to bring him down where he wants to be and to finish it through a submission. That's what I would love to do. Win or lose, it's not much of a big deal for me. I want to kind of go in there and know that everything's left in the cage and after three full rounds, you know, we can walk out being best friends, being buddies, whatever. But just for those three rounds, I think that we just go for it, leave everything in the cage and leave it down to the refs at the end of the day. If there's a stoppage there that can happen, of course, both of us will chase it. But ideally for me, you kind of want to have a fight that people are going to talk about for the night. Panic is likely to set in. And they've got to get used to that feeling of panic. They've got to embrace it and um, deal with it and still manage to pull out the techniques that they've learned to do over the last six months. Um, so yeah, the, the intensity is really ramping up. And we, we've spoken to them as well about, you know, they're, as training partners, they've got to help each other to find that discomfort. Um, because if fight night is the first time they experience it, the panic will mean that they will forget everything. Whereas if they are used to that panic in the training hall, in, on the mats here, fight night is just another day in the, in the office. Okay, so lads, four weeks left. All right, we're down to the, the final countdown now, okay? We're on the home straight here. 
We've put in a good camp now up as far as here. Um, a lot of uh, fights are won and lost on very, very, very fundamental ideas. The idea of distance management, the idea of keeping your hands up, the idea of posture against the fence, okay? forehead under the chin, driving in, getting simple takedowns, achieving top position, and generally not panicking. Because whoever comes at you across that fence is going to be trying to take your head off. So you know, it's serious, and, and it's a fight. The, the last thing the referee says to you is protect yourselves at all times. Okay? And you've got, to, you've got to have that before you get to the get to the cage, all right? And the only way you're going to get that is by helping each other to really realize how serious it is during training. Let's get it done, all right? Okay, let's do it. At the end of the 22-week program remains one epic event. This whole training program is a huge experience, but the finale is like the icing on the cake, and we want, we want them to have a lot of icing. And now, it's hard to imagine them being anything but warriors. But one thing is for sure, this is the last time they will be attributed with anything else. Three, two, one, let's go!